Hello everyone, it's now the third week of Nitinja reworks. Last week we got a new skill, Prime Heart Aiming, and a Alert Stance change that not many people are really happy about. If you haven't seen any reworks on Ninja, I will provide links to the first and second weeks of Ninja reworks in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's begin. We will start with the pre-awakening changes. Concealment, Oni Shadow, Block Jump, and Ghost Greeting now have the correct tooltips showing Invincible when the character disappears. Ninja Evasion now has a super armor instead of an iframe. Not sure what they were going for by nerfing the skill, most ninjas have this locked. Double jumping during non-combat state is now more natural. It also seems like you could jump a couple more times during combat state. The sound effect of double jump into grab has been fixed. I actually prefer the old sound effects, not gonna lie. Block Jump now applies the melee AP buff on the A and D inputs as well. The patch notes say they fixed the Block Jump into AD inputs giving a 2 second stealth buff icon, but it still doesn't actually put you into stealth. Oni Shadow's stealth buff now takes priority over concealment if both are activated. Ghost Greeting now only applies an iframe when off cooldown. The animation has been sped up on the attack, but the dash portion is still unaffected. Alright, moving on to succession changes. Alert Sense has been reworked for the second time. The standalone skill that had a cooldown has been removed. Alert Sense has returned to its original version with Evasive Shriek and Malice and Prime Smokescreen. Succession now has two new Alert Senses from Prime Beheading and Prime Black Moonlight that goes backwards rather than forward. Beheading's new Alert Sense can be activated from the normal version and the fast version. This also applies to Black Moonlight as well. This change allows you to utilize the smokescreen alert stance beheading into another alert stance. Prime Bladesman's spacebar input has now been removed. You cannot animation cancel with Malice, Ghost Step, or Smokescreen. However, since the spacebar input has been removed, all of the damage applies faster. Prime Heart Aiming's bugged input from last week's reworks has now been fixed. It also seems like Prime Heart Aiming has a damage increase. Four Prime Fatal Blow now has the correct tooltip description of Invincible when the character is gone. Malicious Cut, Succession Ninja's class buff now has a 30% crit rate for 30 seconds. Prime Foss Claw now has a 50% crit buff in PvE, does not apply on cooldown. Red Rain's crit buff from last week has now been increased 100% in PvE. Prime Black Moonlight now has a 50% crit buff in PvE. Alright, that's it for the succession changes, moving on to Awakening. The core murder's intent can now be linked smoothly into the next skill. It was previously bugged in week 2 when enabling the core version. Block jump in Awakening has been fixed to properly apply the 2 second stealth after the A or D input, but it actually doesn't really apply the stealth, it's still bugged. Mock Explosion has a few quality of life changes. It now has been sped up if used from the hotbar. It also has smooth transitions into the next skill if used from the hotbar. PvE damage has been increased, but the PvP damage remains the same. Serpent Ascension's damage has been increased, but for PvE only. And that's it for week 3 of reworks. This third week of changes came with a lot of tweaking and adjustments, with some PvE buffs to both Succession and Awakening. Prime Bladesman was a much needed major change with the removal of the spacebar input, however it still feels a little clunky. It seems as though just the ending portion of the skill was cut off, and you're left with a clunky startup animation of Bladespin. I do think it's much better than the original Prime Bladespin, and I'll most likely use this version moving forward. If I were to adjust it any further, I would simply allow this Bladespin to animation cancel Ghost Step, Malice, Evasive Shriek and Malice, and Smokescreen to allow for more fluidity, but whatever damage follows afterwards would be cancelled. Now that Pride Heart Aiming has been fixed, I got a chance to test some combos with it, and I can say it's quite powerful in conjunction with the alert stance changes. However, since this is more of a skirmish, small scale, or 1v1 ability, it makes a 3 second buff kind of difficult to use in large scale scenarios. I do think it's a great buff, but maybe 1 or 2 seconds longer would improve large scale capabilities, since the accuracy has been nerfed compared to the absolute version. It's basically used as a filler skill to strengthen your proceeding abilities while being unprotected. Another great way to strengthen the skill in large scale is to allow to animation cancel into other skills, not just Malice, Ghost Step, Smoke Screen, and Shadow Slump, but also Black Moonlight, Beheading, Foss Claw, Crescent Slash, or Shriek in Flight. This would also allow the new Alert Sense change to flow together really well, since the backswing or ending animation on heart aiming is quite slow. 
While I'm very happy that we've gotten two new alert sense options, I'm afraid our stamina consumption may increase significantly now that we have access to using alert sense twice as often. I still think we need another option for movement that doesn't require stamina nor does a free stamina regen. I believe Ghost Slash is still a great option that just needs some slight buffs, maybe cooldown reduction, longer foreground animation, or ways to animation cancel into more skills rather than just Ghost Step, as the skill is very awkward. In this movement sequence, you can see that my stamina bar drains to almost 25% in only one cycle of use. Awakening has constantly been receiving PvE buffs, which are great, while Succession mainly only got crit rate increases, not actual damage increases. I think Awakening in the current state is very strong with multiple forward guard based damage, giving more options for damage output other than Serpent. However, I still think Serpent should be reverted to the old One Wave Serpent, rather than the Transition Serpent that we have today. Also PA, please fix your add-ons on Global Apps. The skill structure has the incorrect translations as the Bleeding Dot based add-ons have been removed. The DP and Evasion debuffs are still there, they're just incorrectly translated. I really enjoyed this week's Ninja Rerics and I'm happy with the changes that we're getting. I do think we need some slight quality of life adjustments and we should be good. I appreciate all the feedback you guys have been giving me, so let me know what you guys think of this week's reworks and is there anything else you want changed? Leave a comment below. I'll see you next week and as usual, thank you for watching.